Okay, a lot of you understand how to convert kilometers to meters to decimeters to centimeters and to millimeters. If I wonder how many one kilometer is in a meter, I go from kilometer to meter. I'm going from big unit to smaller unit, so I would multiply by a thousand. I can look here at the number of zeros, and, and you've all worked on that, how to convert units of length. What do I do then if I have units of area that I have to convert instead? Well, it's the same principle that uh, if I need to convert from millimeter to, from centimeters to millimeters over here, and I have one centimeter squared, I would have to convert that by multiplying by 10 squared. Why by 10 squared, and what is 10 squared? Well, 10 is 10 times 10. Why would I have to do that? Well, if I had a little square here that was 1 centimeter squared, I would actually have 10 millimeters this way and 10 millimeters this way. And if I added up all of these 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters to every single millimeter, I would actually end up with 100 millimeters squared. So what you have to do when you're multiplying, converting centimeter squared to millimeter squared, instead of multiplying by 10, which you do when it's a length, when area means length times length, which is multiplying by 100. So if I'm changing from centimeter squared to um, millimeter squared, I will multiply by 100. Decimeter squared to centimeter squared, same thing. If I multiply by 10 when it's length, I multiply by 100 when it's area. Meter squared to decimeter squared, same thing. I would, if it's 10 in length, I will multiply by double the number of zeros, 100, when I'm changing in area. What about 1,000 then? Well, I need double the number of zeros. So I've got three zeros up there. So if I'm going to convert to kilometer square, from kilometer squared to meter squared, I need to double my number of zeros, suddenly I have a million. So if I wonder how many meters squared there are in one million, a lot of you would say 10,000 here. It's not 10,000, it's double the number of zeros, it's multiplied by one million. So these are my conversions for area. And the opposite way if you want to go from small unit to big unit. So let's try a couple here and just see if we've got the idea. Let's say that I have 2.4 centimeters squared, and I wonder how many millimeters squared that would be. Well, it must be 2.4. To change from centimeter squared to millimeter squared, I multiply by 100, giving me the answer 240 millimeters squared. So... 2.4 centimeters squared is the same as 240 millimeters squared. What if I have 2,040 centimeters squared, and I would like to instead change them to decimeters squared? Well, I would take my original number, 2,040, just as it is, but to change from centimeters squared to decimeters squared, I'm going from small unit to big unit. So I would instead divide by 100. Decimeters to centimeters, divide by 10. Decimeters squared to 10 centimeters squared, divide by 100. Which would, two zeros down here, move the decimal point two places, 20.4. One, two places back. So 2,040 centimeters squared is 20.4 decimeters squared. Does that make it clear?